Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on August 20th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. Early start here, looking at our sun, and still not much to talk about at all. Looks like there is some equatorial action coming on the backside that is incoming. We'll see in the next couple days. Looking at the real time solar wind as the winds have picked up to over 400 kilometers per second, slightly ramped up overnight. And let's look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as early this morning we had a 6.0 in the Solomon Islands at a 44 kilometer depth. It's a pretty sizable earthquake. It's the largest in the last few days, for sure. Also looking at a 5.0 here, Indonesia. 4.9 in Nazi Japan. And as well, a 5.2. 4.6 here in China. 4.1 in Zhang. And a 4.5 in Kazakhstan as well, 4.4 there, Turkey. 5.1 in the South Sandwich Islands, south of Bristol Islands. And South America still rocking some fours all the way up into Ecuador. Another 2.3 on the border with Canada and Sealy, Montana, 3.3. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's look at the last seven days. As we're still watching that quiet zone across North America after that little bit of movement we had earlier in the week off the coast of Oregon. But lots of deep earthquakes east side ring of fire throughout South America and up into Central America. So still watching this quiet zone. Stay aware and prepared. Let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center, overlooking the most recent alerts put out. Volcanoes, Dokono, Asosana, Japan. But these four major volcanic eruptions here in South America, where all the movement's going on. Raventador, Ecuador, Sangue, and then all these fires, newly erupted fires throughout South America. That's kind of a situation in itself. And there are a lot of fires raging throughout Spain, forest fires in Mor uh, Morocco as well, parts of Italy and Turkey. And it, it looks like the Russia, the Russia forest fires, they're not reporting any now. Let's overlook NASA worldview, see what's going on over Russia. And yeah, you can see the hotspot anomaly red dots. There's not many of them anymore. Things to be, seems to be quieting down, but it's South America and Africa that is heating up and there are hundreds of forest fires raging across the continent right now. You can see a very smoky and hazy South America. Throughout Brazil, And then here overlooking the Saharan dust storm being blown off of the African continent. I was just looking here to see if we could see into the smoke from the forest fires in Italy or in Portugal, but nothing. But yeah, definitely a quiet Atlantic storm season and those dust storms do not help. I was overlooking the last uh, was it three days here? Composite image of North America for clouds and rain. And you can see there was a lot of action northern parts of North America throughout Canada. But watch through the central United States throughout North Dakota as this huge Atmospheric anomaly happened overnight throughout parts of South Dakota. 
and it looks like a tornado, a large one at that. I'm just going to have another quick look at it here as it just blows up out of nowhere. Poof, right there. Boom. So definitely an atmospheric extreme weather event throughout South Dakota. We'll be looking for stories and pictures of that today. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking the global weather. And the only uh, real threat here is the tropical storm that is heading up the west coast of North America. And it looks like it will be dying down in the three-day forecast. Still watching a low-pressure system hanging out in the Gulf. North Florida bringing a deluge of rain. Flooding through parts of the Mississippi, Florida, Galveston, New Orleans. The rain hasn't stopped. Watching this large low move into the Atlantic provinces later in the week definitely will bring, bring quite a bit of rain up to 50 millimeters of rain expected with that storm Alberta looking to get some wild weather for sure as the low develops off the northern Rockies and tries to scoot east into that cooler weather and watch for that huge north and south draw of moisture definitely going to be an active day throughout Alberta as that storm comes through and of course British Columbia northern British Columbia and Alaska just watching low pressure system after low pressure system hammer them watch for the snowfall totals to start to increase colder temperatures to start to kick around stick around as we are on the verge of an early winter that's right, folks. Did you enjoy your summer? <laughs> Around the world we go. Let's get look over, overlook the West Pacific as there is a tropical depression forming east of the Philippines and is heading northwest straight to Taiwan. So watch Taiwan as they will have an extreme weather event as that system moves into their island see it just draws into purple and blues it's very heavy rain throughout Australia cooler temperatures moving in over the next few days through parts of southeastern Australia absolutely zero weather to talk about also watching some pretty big storms here move into Mayotte so watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout this region over the next few days. Again, no Atlantic storms to talk about. We could have a possibility of two forming off of the African continent later in the week. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.